make decision. Oh, uh, what's up, Strong? What did you decide? Decide us. You and Strong. You good fighter. Good as super mutant. Fight beside Strong many times. You good leader. Better than Fist. Strong follow you always. You now Strong's leader. Okay. Having reached the highest affinity with Strong, you gain the Berserk perk. Um. Alright, Strong. What does that do? Berserk. See your relationship with Strong. When you fall below 25% health, you deal 20% more melee damage. Thanks. Thanks, Strong. And the Vault Boy in there is shooting a gun. I don't know what that has to do with melee damage. And it's a really weird picture for a super mutant, but okay. Thanks, Strong. That's gonna be completely fucking useless hey. to me. What do you need? Strong, hold up. Here, eat meat before it spoils. What's up, what are man? you thinking about? Strong hope we find milk of human kindness soon. What's okay. on your mind? So much walking. Want to do more fighting! Right. What do you think humans about our relationship? Like other humans. Smart, but weak. Strong stay with human for now. Well, Strong about that. Since, uh, since I've now become your leader, well, there's nothing more for me to teach you, Strong, or to learn from you, so... It's time, Strong. Time that I set you aside for somebody else. Oh, where am I going to leave you? That's the question. I mean, I guess you could live here at the Red Rocket Station. Oh, maybe I should move dog meat down here. You could live with all the dogs. Oh, it could be like a dog town. Hey. Strong listening. Nice day. I guess I'll see. Where are we headed? Mama Perfect got anything to say. This place is starting to look like a proper home, thanks to you. Mama Murphy. You need the sight? It's telling me Mentats will give us the right high for another insight into your destiny. Uh, sure. So it's Mentats this time. They're good. More of a chem for scientists and tech types. But who's to say old Mama Murphy ain't a closet genius? <laughs> We know you're not. Here you go. Ah, that's it. I can feel the sight opening up. You're on the trail of the man who took your boy. I see a house locked up tight. Chains put on by a smiling shark. But there's another way. I can see it. A key. Lost and forgotten. Fallen down below. Search the chairs beneath the house. They hold the secret. <coughs> Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. I'll be fine. Search eventually. the chairs beneath the house? What does that mean? Hey. What can I do? Look, I know you don't like the fact Piper. that she's taking drugs. You, you could use a pick-me-up. Oh, thanks, Piper. Your thoughts? Need a countdown on the Institute's favorite people? Uh, sure. You said something about the railroad? Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but... They're secretive. Ultra-paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor. A, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. Okay. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. Right. Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know... They're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. 
There used to be a volunteer army dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were a real thing at one point. We well, should get going. All right. No more of that. Mama Murphy, I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. Check the chairs? What does that even mean? Adrian, Carl, got a job you might be interested in. You know about Jamaica Plain, right? Place where they hid all that treasure before the war. No one's ever found it, on account of all the ghouls. Sal's putting together a raid team. We still need a sniper. Even split of the loot. You up for it? If so, you know where to find me. Well, I've already been there. Um, not to feel very well for them. So... Come on, let's go to good neighbor. Nothing bad ever happens there. <sighs> good old good neighbor. Home of the dirtiest beds you'll ever find. That's probably not true. They probably have very luxurious clean beds. <laughs> Hi dear, you're gonna give me a problem, I know. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Oh uh, yeah, well. Uh. Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. You must not know Someone who I am. Through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? He really shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Sounds awesome. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. No problem, Hancock. Mayor Hancock. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next super mutant attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Well, you see, what's up? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go oh, on no. these uh, like, pillars wild of the community. tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, was not to love about immortality. All that chem use definitely prepared you for a career in politics. People respect me because I don't put myself above them, alright? I sling and shoot up just like the next guy. Now, before you bring me down, is there anything else you need? Uh, yeah. Tell me more about this town of yours, good neighbor. It's all about the people, understand? They're freaks, misfits, and troublemakers. And that's why I love them. Everyone here lives their own life, their own way. No judgments. Now, was there anything else? Got me work. Looking for work. Work, huh? Yeah. Mm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. What, is what else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. Uh-huh. I might be interested. 
But let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Usual job pays 200, but I like you. So let's push it to 250. What about more money? You said things have gone quiet up there. That means extra risks to cover. I like where your head's at. Let's make it 300 caps. Okay. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Hey, give me a minute. Oh, okay. Hi, Piper Wright with Public Occurrences. So, who's really in charge of Good Neighbor these days? Who runs the seedy sanctuary? You're looking at him. But I'll sell you a stake in it. Hundred caps. Wait. No. Fifty. Ten? Yeah, thanks. But I think I'll pass. You're not the person who runs this place. Hey, Piper. Hey, point the way. You wanna talk about stuff? Piper. You look like you could use a pick-me-up. Aw, oh, thanks, Piper. Your thoughts? Need a countdown on the Institute's favorite people? No. We should get going. All right. Going. You gonna talk to... to the robot? No, you're just gonna stick around. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at <coughs> oh, your geez. discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Uh, what's my, what's my charisma at right now? Oh, it's at 9. I mean, uh, it could be at 10. Let's make it 10. And now, now let's talk to people. Who... What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Uh... Oh, of course you are. <laughs> it's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Designation, Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation, K-L-E-O, Cleo, fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? Ah, uh, okay. You're an Assaultron? That's what my makers called me, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? What's for sale? So, what kinds of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Sure. Sure. Let's take a look. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. It may we. You. Hi. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Yeah, those guys are dicks. Hello. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. Have you, you seen let me my know face? if anything catches your fancy. I mean, have you, have you seen my face? Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? Ghoul? Please. What's a ghoul? You're looking at one, sweetheart. <laughs> Didn't have any shelter to go to when the bombs fell. Radiation's kind of the ultimate makeover. Done wonders for my skin. I look pretty good for being 220 years old. Now you buying anything? 220. Wait, you're 220 years old. Okay, okay. It's more like... 270 years, but don't go blabbing that to everyone. Being a ghoul means you live a long time. You stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? Yes. Actually, I do. <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. 
Come on, tell me what the world was like before the war if you're so ancient. Well, you see, it was horrible. The world before was nothing but petty governments going to war, dragging us into it, and shooting whoever refused to clean up the mess. You know, I had a husband that was killed in the war with the Reds. They didn't even tell me where he died. Classified information and all that. Well, you're either the most well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. Ha! <laughs> All right. Um. What? I'm not bullshitting. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the Hotel Rexford. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Well, we should get back to business. What are you picking up? Well, you got any work? Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. Uh, what about more money? I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. You got a good point. We'll make it, uh, 250 caps. More money. Hey, it's not just the cost of ammunition. Danger means doctor's fees. Yeah, yeah, all right. How about 300 caps when it's done? Deal? Uh, hold on. Let me, let me drink this ale. Oh no, I've become addicted to alcohol, apparently. Whoops. Sorry. Not enough. Guess that library's gonna be Super Mutant Central from now on. Wait, don't, don't go. Uh, we'll make it 400 caps. All right. Anything more you can tell me about the library? A lot of those pre-war buildings have automated security. Robots, turrets, that kind of thing. A lot of computers, too. Hope you take the job. You might not believe this, but I was a shy child. Books were like my best friends growing up. Well, now I feel bad about taking You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. Probably been overdue for a pretty long time, I would assume. Oh, right, I forgot to Better take your stuff. Anyway. You shouldn't have been a dick bag, dick bag. That's what happens to dick bags. Oh, oh, poor, poor little dick bag. He died, and then he got his head blown up. I'm sure nobody will care. This shady alleyway. That's pretty fucking shady. Just saying. Oh jeez. Frame rates, where you going? Back. Alright, I'm gonna have to go in there for that quest with uh with Valentine. But I kinda don't want to go in there yet. You know? I kinda just wanna look around. Apparently this is stealing. But, you know, whatever. Oh hello. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's not go over there. Let's just, uh, go somewhere else. Oh, there, Drifter. Alright, well... Perhaps the third rail. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in there. Hopefully, they're not blaring fucking radio music. That would be unfortunate. They are blaring. Hancock music. says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. All right. Thanks, Ham. Oh no, they got music playing. Oh no. Oh no, I, I, my beer, I gotta drink another beer. 
Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that. We come in peace, Malarkey. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Hello, oi. We got beer. If you ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. To feel like Was the Who's singer? the singer? That is Magnolia. The flower of the third rail. Anything you want to know about her other than that is her business. Now, you're gonna order? The third rail? rail? Is this your place? What? Nah, God. Place is Hancock's. Oh, Charlie just keeps the floor clean. The drink's dirty. <laughs> so, you buying a what? So, Hancock's the owner? That's right. Owner and mayor of this whole bloody town. Trust me, I'm, I'm never really get on his bad get. side. Oh, and uh, stay clear of his bodyguard. So, what's your poison? I really hope YouTube isn't like, hey, that's copyright. You, you're fucked, because I don't want to get fucked. Hancock has a bodyguard? Thanks, yeah. YouTube. The redhead with the condescending stare. Trust me, Cub, something about her ain't right. But I'll never admit saying that. I'm trying to sell drinks here. You in? Good neighbor. What's the word around town? Well, they say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't understand that I'm a bartender, not a damn news pop. Now, are you gonna drink? Uh, I've sure. got a few minutes to browse. Nothing watered down. Sure, I'll buy some drink. Except I won't. Buy some other shit. You got glass? Oh, that's nice. Now that you're liquored up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty girl to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground. Uh -huh. That kind of thing. Interested? Well, you're talking to the right raider. I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch. It's all in town. The old warehouse, so I can't use my regulars. Uh -huh. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. Don't worry. I'll know what it is. I don't do work unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Right. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. Okay. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. Two fifty. Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Gov. Three hundred. More money, Charlie. Giving me a right kick in the Alberts. We'll make it 400, but that's as high as I'm going. Okay, let's do it. I'll get it, it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. That's right, good neighbor. I'm the one you're looking for. <laughs> we'll be right back after a short break. Hold on. Excuse me. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Oh no, you sing real nice. Um, the song was lovely. I loved the song. It was perfect. Real great set this evening, ma'am. Of songs, that is. I. Oh, is it warm in here? Oh well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> <laughs> now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. You're a survivor, aren't you? I bet the whole world could stand in your way and you'd just keep going. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? Uh... Me? Playing a game. First idiot who grabs my ass gets his arm broken. 
10 points if he's drunk. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are going to get along. <laughs> so it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Um. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Well, you see... You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. All right, let's do it. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. You already said that. That open sign is a lot more metaphorical now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot more metaphorical. I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll what? see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. But Magnolia. Excuse me. I'll see you around, good neighbor. Were you just standing out there listening the whole time, Piper? Don't check your nails now. Actually, ew, why are you checking your... Where are you going? Why are you opening other people's doors? They could be banging in there. You don't know. It's really rude, Piper. Uh-oh. Look, you, you pissed somebody off. Uh. Look, I know... I know what? she's... Uh -oh. No, it can't. It... it, it it's you! From Sanctuary Hills, right? How do you recognize me? Wait, are you from vault -Tec? I am vault -Tec. Twenty years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? I could say the same about your clothes. Well, you kill enough people. Sooner or later, something's bound to make you immortal. Oh, oh, that's rich. Real funny. Just like that robot of yours. After the bombs fell and I came to, that bucket of bolts was still there. Trimming those damned edges like nothing happened. <laughs> yep, I must have set Codsworth's blind optimism levels to stunningly. You know... You're the only <laughs> other person I met from before. I, uh, I, oh God, I've been so alone here. No commonwealth settlement, once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. I mean, I do. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit, I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay, I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Uh, not really. Didn't realize I had been. So this is you not even trying, huh? I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place right. I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Well, you know... <sighs> I don't know. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, <laughs> knowing what's really out there. A night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some Institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Well, sure. Couldn't agree more. 
How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're game. facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Huh. Well, you know. You saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I... <laughs> I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Sure thing, Piper. Hey, Piper. Sneaky, breaky the fuck out of here. I don't know if we paid to be here. Oh. I just clean up around here. Don't mind me. You two talking? <clears throat> oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? Hold on, you're selling jet. But What's I sell jet? jet. You don't know? It's the best. It just hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of ten men in one inhaler. What other kinds uh -huh. of cams do you have? Well. You got your medicinal shit, Rad X and Rad Away for radiation sickness. I feel like we all know this hey, by now. Hey, do you think that's why they call it Rad X? That's far out. Mentats are for the sciency types, you know, eggheads looking for a boost to solve big problems. Buff outs for the muscle men. Fuck, just try it all is what I say. Right, you would say that. You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's got to be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, Fair I point. pay you 200 caps. Ask for more money. Your offer's a little low, Fred. All right, let's make it 250. Not good enough. You said there's already a crew of mercs there. I did say that, didn't I? How about 300? Uh, how about you give me a minute? So I can... So I can drink a beer. Good neighbors full of chem addicts. You have plenty of money to fund this job. Okay, okay. You got me. 400 caps, that's all I can put out? Yeah. You said gunners are out there? The blackest hearted mercs around, friend. Well armed, organized. So, you know, make sure they don't catch you. Right. Anything more you can tell me about hallucinogen? Like I said, that name's killer. They probably made all kinds of chemicals worth grabbing. The gunners were willing to send a team in there, and those guys don't go after lame marks. Fair enough point. All right, Fred. We have a deal. You're the best. The absolute best. Uh, whatever you say, Fred. Hi, old lady. Gee. Nice. Look, I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. Hey. <laughs> you want a room? Claire runs the desk. 
Give her something to do besides breathing down my neck. I was actually hoping you'd hire me for a job, jackass, but I guess, you know, having one of the uh, most badass Red, mercenaries in the entire wasteland. All day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? Uh -oh. My mistake. All right, be cool, Piper. Is that fucker coming downstairs? Certainly seen better days, hasn't it? Fucker better not be coming downstairs. Swipe all your drugs and shit. All your duct tape. Piper, play it cool. Don't be a fucking juge. Walk away from this with quite a few caps, Piper. Not anything crazy, but... Oh! Fred Allen's password. Look on his computer. Uh-huh. Well, I already know what these drugs are, and I don't really care, Fred. If you want to know what those emails say, uh, you can feel free to come here and find out what good old Fred has been up to. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but Daisy, glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now. What out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their synths! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good, good neighbor. neighbor! And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! people! Wow, you guys are. You walk that freedom, freedom trail. I heard you on that freedom trail. How the it's fuck do you buffs. know about that? You step through the gate, you got balls. How the fuck do you guys know about the freedom trail? That's supposed to be a big fucking secret. You guys shouldn't know about that. Hear the shit, Piper? It's fucking nutty. Should I go? Should I go talk to him? Should I even bother? Come on, Piper. Uh. Piper, I might send you home. Sweet pit boy, sister. You hold on to that. Yeah, we'll hold Can't on. Say I'm surprised to find you in a <laughs> dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your blood ounce to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. 
I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the Gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed uh. you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Look, lady, if you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the... Look, let me just drink a bit. Oh, I don't have any more beer. Let me drink a vodka. Wrong what guy. you need to get you through the day? If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. What's going on? Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. It's how it goes when you run with the gunners. Huh. You're acting like I'm supposed to know what you're talking about. Maybe it's better that you don't. I don't want the stink of Winlock and Barnes rubbing off on me and scaring away my business. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Well, I mean... Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? Well, I mean... You know. Hold on. What kind of risk are you talking about? I already told you way too much. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. <laughs> Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. All right, Piper, you go back to Sanctuary. Go have fun with Kate. Come with me. Hey. Yeah, what what's up? Your thoughts? Let's get this show on the road. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. So far, there's nothing to complain about. Nothing to get excited about either. All right. Nothing else I needed. Time at me. Let's go, McCready. Sorry, Piper. But you're a bitch. The open road and a loaded weapon. Doesn't get much better than this. Some problem there you were caught up Can't in? Can't believe it. Quarantine or something? You look like just that? like Sammy, too. Yeah, yeah. Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got Sound another thing coming. Oh, they were right. What am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. Maniacs wielding guns. I feel safer already. We got a comedian here? Look around, jackass. Good neighbor takes care of itself. That's how it works. And the Institute better learn that no synth double is gonna go unnoticed in this town. Now maybe you get out of my face, huh? Got a reason to be bothering me. I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. Uh... Okay. You wasted good bullets. Oh yeah? Could've done better yourself, huh? Well, I'm sorry you haven't had the lovely experience of killing a man who's wearing a friend's face. Now get lost. The Institute and their synths. Not so scary now, huh? I mean, I guess not. I'm taking his clothes. And there's not really much he can do about it. So... Oh, Sammy. Can't believe he got later. taken. Later. 